Preston Physics, Grade 11, Electricity and Magnetism, Note 12, Electromagnetic Induction. Looking at electromagnetic induction, or Lenz's Law, what it's saying is a moving magnetic field will create a current in a solenoid such that the current's going to flow to oppose the motion of the magnet. So what that means is the current's going to create another magnet that's going to try to stop the magnet from moving which we already have. So it's going to want to oppose that motion of the magnet no matter which way the magnet's going to move. It's going to change the current in that solenoid. The example below what we're going to do is we're going to move a magnet into a coil. So what's going to happen is if we're moving the magnet into the coil, when the magnet's moved in, the current's going to automatically flow in the solenoid to make a north polarity on the left side to stop that magnet from coming in. North and north oppose each other, so the north is going to be made to stop that magnet from moving into the solenoid. Now in a very similar fashion, when we now try to pull that magnet out, the current's going to quickly flip in the solenoid, and it's going to now make a south end on the left side, and it's going to try to keep that magnet in the solenoid. It always opposes motion. So where we had a north end before, our current switches directions and makes a south end now. It's still opposing and trying to keep that magnet inside the solenoid now. There's three factors that can influence the amount of induced current in that solenoid. Now the first is going to be the strength of the magnet. If we have a larger field or more field lines, we're going to create more current. The second being the speed that we move the magnet into the solenoid. If we move the magnet in quicker, we're going to create more current. If we move the magnet in slowly, we're not going to create a lot of current and it's not going to oppose the motion that much. And the last is going to be the number of windings in that solenoid. Looking at a couple of types of questions that you could see with Lenz's Law. First being that if I gave you a magnet, told you the two poles of the magnet and where it was moving, what would be the current that we have and where would the poles be that it's making? Well here we have the magnet moving in. We know we have to make a south pole so our windings have to be going down to make that south pole because our thumb would point to the north pole with that right hand rule. For the next one try to find the polarity of the magnet and then in the final example find the motion that the magnet's moving. The question associated with this note is number 26 from your yellow duotang.